So the stereotype is that it's just a bunch of trendy Tumblr teens going through a phase. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm a grown-ass adult, I drink taxes, I pay my scotch, and I'm genderqueer. Oh shit, my defenses are lowered. The bullies will make mean videos about me now, No. Let's start at the beginning. What does genderqueer even mean? Well, hold on, why should I even have to explain this? Can people not use Google? I mean, surely in this day and age, people have access to a wealth of reliable information. Okay. Well, clearly the beginning is way too advanced a place to start. We're gonna need to work our way up from pre-kindergarten here. See, when we were kids, boys played with tiny skateboards and girls played with urine. Like the cosmic order was in balance. It's 2017, man. I don't know what gender I am. I listen to Synthwave. Let's do some dance. It's fucking 2017, man. Part 2. Feminist Perspectives. What is it with men? I mean, patriarchy cannot possibly exist in a society where a significant number of people are mayonnaise gender. Unlike most of you, I am a real American, which means that I believe in a little thing you may have forgotten about called freedom. How am I supposed to explain to my child? Kill your shitty child. Then you won't have to explain anything. I'm glad we cleared that up. Mm -hmm. Talking about my feelings. Like a gay. I identify as an attack helicopter. <laughs> it's funny because you could never use a helicopter in combat. There is penis, there is vagine, and that's all there is to say about it. I look inside myself and I ask, do I feel like a man or a woman? And the answer is that I feel like shit. I mean, it's just hollow in here. We don't have a word for something that's slightly a rabbit, moderately a rabbit, or mostly but not all a rabbit. Things are either rabbits or they aren't. A monkey cannot give birth to a man. It ain't natural. But thinking about it certainly turns me on. Ah. Uh. I'm just gonna palpate the interior here. Palpate, palpate, palpate. If you think I'm comparing non-binary identities to cannibalism, here's the address to complain to. Easy does it. I'm, sure I'm sure plenty, plenty of, great of great surgeons, surgeons have, have done, done drugs. drugs. Ignore it, just ignore, just ignore it. it. In some contexts, I prefer to pour milk on someone else's face. But in other contexts, I like someone to pour hot milk all over my goddamn face and Ah, fuck. Nurse! Get my lawyer on the phone! Babies, I'm sorry! Part 4. Concluding unscientific postscript. Oh, I get it. You went to grad school. That's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I will, June. Maybe I goddamn- Man, can't I just enjoy parading my new identity around for five minutes without having to compose a goddamn philosophical excursus justifying myself? Well, the answer is no. No, I can't. So, you know what? Go ahead and post your shitty hot dog biology argument in the comments section, you fucking cis scum. Why don't we start out with a proper scientific explanation of gender? A doctor? <laughs> Thank you, doctor. That was very informative. Another reason is that I'm just kind of a self-loathing, self-denigrating person. And I genuinely find it easier to just tell myself and other people that I'm a sexual deviant because it's a fun and breezy way to write the whole issue off and it doesn't lead to a whole difficult conversation about gender identity. Plus, I really value humor and, you know, there's just nothing less funny than self-respect. And I know this is probably not the inspiring and affirming message that you're hoping for, but honestly, I'm just not that inspiring of a person, so stop being inspired. <laughs> anyway. I've now reached a point where I think I owe myself and other non-binary people a little bit better than I've been doing. And I've been inspired by a lot of mostly younger non-binary people to drop some of the self-denigration and adopt a language that I think actually affirms the way I feel inside. Ugh, what is this channel coming to? I'm talking about my feelings like a 
fucking queer. They're paving the way for the future, when our great-grandchildren will plug their brains directly into the simulation to avoid the climate change-induced nightmare that is what's left of the physical and biological realm. There will be no more men and women in this world, only quad-gender wolfkin shamans endlessly pollulating over the sunny plains of Azeroth. And that, frankly, is a paradise I'm looking forward to.